There's an EU election poster on every corner. Plenty of slogans, but little content. The Christian Democratic Party is even recycling a photo of the Chancellor from last year's national campaign. But Europe does have some cachet. Many companies feature Europe prominently in their names. Pharmacies, ice cream salons, driving schools, and even Italian restaurants. Like Rino de Florio, who runs a pizzeria in Berlin. He's a fan of Europe, and his big dream goes well beyond a mere European Union. My Europe is one country, just one country, not the way it is now, but one single country, instead of 25 or 26 or however many separate states. A United States of Europe. Is that likely? We pay a visit to the German parliament to see what they think of the Italian pizza maker's big dream. I don't think it's a very realistic idea for the moment and the near future. But I don't begrudge the pizza maker his dream. But there are still plenty of big ideas, and many sound similar across the political spectrum. My dream of Europe is pretty similar. Peace, freedom and prosperity for everyone in Europe. People who have joined together and who coexist with as few borders and divisions as possible. Prosperity for all. That statement usually comes from the political left. My dream of Europe is that all people will be able to have a share in prosperity and that the gap between rich and poor doesn't keep widening. And what do publicity pros think of it all? This PR boss says Europe is a good idea and a good market, too. My European dream is that we'll be able to assert ourselves a bit more in face of the big boys across the pond. That's what I'd like to see for Europe. The Europa Center shopping mall in Berlin. The architecture is sober and pragmatic. That seems to have rubbed off on the customers here. A federation of national states is important. I think we need that. Every country needs to maintain its own roots. Otherwise, it can't continue as a country. Back at the Italian restaurant, the ovens are fired up. You might think there's a secret traditional recipe for these pizzas. But no, there's actually a European guideline on what goes into a proper pizza. The guideline for a pizza Napoli is nine pages long. They like to tell us how to make our pizza Napoli, but I don't need all of this. I know how to make our real pizza Napoli. Apply the tomato sauce in a spiral, it says. Yeah, yeah, I make my pizza real Italian pizza with real Italian ingredients. That's the bottom line. To top it off, Chef Reno gives his young customers a few tips on how to enjoy a real Italian pizza. There's no European guideline on that yet, but that doesn't seem to bother these young pizza lovers. Oh. 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 Oh.